Like most households, you may experience a partial power cut from time to time. For instance, a few electrical sockets stop working, or maybe the upstairs lights work, but the downstairs ones don't. Usually, it's caused by a light bulb popping, or a faulty appliance being plugged in. When this happens, it sometimes causes a switch to trip in your consumer box, also known as the fuse box. A trip switch is a safety feature that cuts off the power to the circuit with the fault. The good news is, it's quite simple to both detect and fix a trip switch. Firstly, you need to know where your fuse box is. Yours may look a little different to the one shown here. It could look like any of these. However, what they all have in common are a series of trip switches which turn off the power to various parts of your home. On some boxes, it's obvious which switch has tripped. It's the one facing downwards. In this case, you simply flick the switch back up and the power will be restored to all the lights and sockets that stop working. Of course, you'll need to replace the blown light bulb if that was the cause. If it was a faulty appliance that tripped the switch, such as a toaster or kettle, then you should have it checked over by a qualified electrician before using it again. However, if you have the kind of fuse box where it's not obvious which switch has tripped, then here's what you do. Firstly, switch off all the electricity in the house by turning the large mains power switch to the off position. It's sometimes labelled the isolator switch. Then switch off all the individual trip switches. Next, turn the power back on. Then put all the individual trip switches back to their original upright position. This should restore all the power to your home. But remember, you'll still need to replace whichever bulb is blown or get a faulty appliance checked out. If one of the trip switches refuses to stay in the upright position, it may be because the faulty appliance is still plugged into the socket. Simply locate the appliance, usually the one being used when the power went off, unplug it and try the trip switch again. This should do the trick. However, if the switch still trips, then there's nothing more that you can do, and the problem needs to be fixed by a qualified electrician. For more information about this and other services we offer, please visit our website at northernpowergrid.com.